here we are where you can see my foundations are running through the game warp map and everything and clearly that's not what i want but that's okay we can adjust the height of all of these foundations so that they will go over and it's quite a distance because of that hill i've got to chop through um and I know where it all is roughly. So what we'll do is we go back to the calculator. I haven't touched this from when I loaded it before. So we can continue working here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the select tools. And I'm going to show you some of the other icons and how they work. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off all these annoying icons which you can do by selecting unselect all layers and bang it's a bit cleaner what can be helpful is i want to know how high this is like the top of this rock here and it's a bit hard sometimes there are some tricks for example if i turned on purple slugs they're usually pretty high up there's one at 82 meters this one's 199, 44, 230. I reckon 230 is probably the same height as this here. When you look at a foundation and you go update foundation position, it gives you a number here in the Z axis. This is the height. The heights are in at the top here, it says. Note, a foundation is 800 wide. So we know foundations are 8 meters, so it's 800. So it's every 1 meter is 100. So here, there is 3,800 units, which is 38 meters high. Now, I was roughly saying before that there was, say, that slug was 240. So let's just make the road 250 high. So if I bring in my trusty calculator here so 250 times 100 is 25,000 if I select this number here and I add it to it I get that new number and then I can come here and I can go paste but I'm not going to paste it here what I'm going to do is I've got the number in my clipboard now I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to use this rectangle select tool here. We can turn off these slugs now. We don't need to see them. Rectangle select. And I'm going to go from here to here. Uh, we're going to do all the way to there. Okay. And with that select, I've now selected 399 foundations. I drop down. There's a whole lot of things we can do here. But we want to select offset selected items position and click submit and i'm only going to play with the z-axis because i'm going in the upwards direction i have a positive number if i was going to drop the height i would need a negative number i am going to just paste that number in there and go submit now when i hover on these foundations they are 327 meters so i actually added 250 meters on top of the height that I already had here before of whatever that was, 39 meters. I've got a height now. And what we're going to do again, I want to know where I am. So how about we teleport the player to this foundation here. This saves you having to run around a lot. And then we will once again save, download the save game. Now what this will do is we'll put another save game in my downloads folder with the same name as the one I had previously. If I drag that save into my save game folder, I have to replace it in the folder or I have to give it another name so I have two copies. I'm going to replace it in there. Remember, you are putting a file in your save game folder that has a different name to the file that you originally started with so you are never actually breaking your save your original save is there untouched all right and this looks great i can see above the top 
of the uh, mountain range here. It looks like I've picked a perfect height. Uh, I will have to put some ramps down to bring the, because the reason I'm bringing this road over here and keeping the road is that I want to bring my build train over here. There's an article that you can go to on the Satisfactory Guru site all about build trains. A uh, build train just means I'm going to bring all my goods with me, a central storage on wheels. And it's going to mean I don't have to travel a lot to do all this work. So we still have to build the train track to bring the build train over here. And that's part of this. And the other reason why we're using the calculator and we're stretching the road out like this is it's a technique called foundation alignment, which means everything across my map is linked to the same grid on a north, south, east, west. I'm going to uh, now go ahead and do the steps to run the train line back to my base, bring the build train up and do all the necessary steps Right now, you've got a, a basic understanding of how you can use the calculator to create roads. Uh, you understand that it does it based on the size of the foundation that you are starting from. You understand the orientation of foundations. And you can go with this knowledge, play with some of those spawn around options and continue from there and see what you can come up with.